Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending December 16th, 2017. And this will be the last TDD report of the year. Uh, after that, I'm going to take a break for uh, Christmas Eve and from uh, for New Year's Eve. So uh, this will be the last one of the year. So I want to touch on some gadgets of the year, the best gadgets of the year 2017, and whether I actually bought any of them or came close to buying any of them or know anybody that bought any of these gadgets. But first, let me talk about one news story here that I thought was interesting. This is, again, I've talked about SpaceX a lot of times before because they're into the idea of reusable spaceships uh, like the main engines. And even this time, the SpaceX uh, recycled the rocket and the capsule part. And this one is from uh, NewYorkPost.com. As usual, the links to everything I talk about will be down in the description below. But it's an interesting article. SpaceX racked up another first on Friday launching a recycled rocket with a recycled capsule on a grocery run for NASA. The unmanned Falcon rocket blasted off with a just-in-time for Christmas delivery for the International Space Station, taking flight again after a six-month turnaround. On board was a Dragon supply ship, also a second-time flyer. It was NASA's first use of a reused Falcon rocket and only the second of a previously flown, flown Dragon. And uh, if you search, too, you can also see video of it landing back to it. Uh, it came back, the, the main stage of the rocket came back and landed successfully to 10 minutes after launch. So they seem to be, it seems to be that we're now, I, I would call this now, we're officially into the era of reusable spacecraft, which should cut down the costs enormously. So <clears throat> let's get on with the gadgets now. I wanted to just go over a site and find a site, and I have, actually did. It's from Time Magazine, time.com that talks about the different gadgets of the year. And I, I think most of them are pretty accurate because a few of these I came close to pulling the trigger, but I will give you a, after I'm done talking about this, I'll give you what I actually pulled the trigger on as far as my gadget of the year. And it may seem unusual to you, but for people that know me, maybe not that much. So um, number 10, I'm not going to go over all of them. i got 10 gadgets here, but I'm going to go over the ones that I, I know about fairly well from uh, at least knowing friends that have bought these gadgets, the Sony Alpha A7R mirrorless camera. And I'm not just talking about that particular model, but uh, mirrorless cameras in general. If I had the bucks, I would love to do something like that because I love photography. But um, some friends of mine, they're into photography because they make a living, at least a part-time living from it. Uh, some of them have pulled the trigger on mirrorless cameras, not necessarily the Sony model. And then number nine, the Apple Watch, or I'll count the clones to any kind of watches that does some of the same features as your cell phone does. Or some of them, they link up with your cell phone so you can leave your cell phone in the case or in your pocket and do some of the functions uh, through that. Um, that's one that I wasn't really interested in. The, it wasn't realistic, I would say. The camera, the mirrorless camera was not realistic because the price, they, the good ones start at $3,000 and up. So that would be a dream. Uh, I don't think I ever seriously considered getting one because of the price. Um, the Apple Watch or the clones, not really. And then they had uh, Xbox One X uh, along with the other... Uh, Gaming consoles, same thing again. I mean, because of the price, I, I it, it's not that I wouldn't enjoy one if someone wanted to give me one for free, but I don't play enough games to make it worth the number seven, the Amazon Echo. Now, I also include the Amazon Dot, which uh, is about 50 bucks and does most of the same things the Echo can do, at least from what I've heard. I've had friends get that, and the price is down to 50 bucks. In fact, the, I just checked the Amazon Echo is down to 79 bucks. But the uh, little Echo Dot, I found that as cheap as about $39 if you watch for the sales. I did actually come really close to pulling the trigger on that because a friend of mine I know that uh, as part of my amateur radio club uh, bought a couple of those and he said he really likes them a lot too. It's, it's also, I think, the reason why it's kind of appealing is it kind of gives you the old uh, Star Trek feel of actually talking to the computer and have the computer talk back to you. So you, you kind of get that with the Amazon Echo type of, type of deal. But uh, no, didn't turn, didn't pull the trigger on that, even though the price got down to pretty reasonable. I still just, I didn't think I had enough use for it, really. I mean, it would be more a novelty thing, and I just, to spend money for things that are no more than novelties if they don't have a practical use uh, on a continuing basis, nope, didn't do it. So um, they also go with the Super NES uh, Classic Gaming System, another game console, uh, Samsung Galaxy S8, any of the newer kind of phones as a gadget, yeah. I've kind of dreamed of them too, but basically my LG $100 smartphone does everything I need it to do. Now here's one I did consider if, if I could have come across enough money because the price has gone down. I think this is below $400 now, the DJI Spark drone. Um, the original DJI 
um, ones, especially the ones that have the really nice cameras on them and the camera gimbals. Those things run like 1100 1300 bucks and up. But this DJI Spark seemed like it would be a pretty good deal. But still, on the other hand, too, I would probably, in an entire year, the way I make videos anymore and the way I do video vlogs and stuff, probably use it two or three times. So to spend, even if the price is around 399 or 359 or whatever, no, really couldn't see doing that. Then, uh, let's see, is there anything else here? Uh, I think that pretty well, there was the Nintendo Switch, too, which was another um, accessory for a gaming console kind of deal. Um, not into gaming enough, again, so. Let me tell you, actually, what I came up with for my gadget of the year, and I always thought these things were just novelties, but uh, those of you that know me really well know that I constantly spend lots of money and lots of time at the dentist because my teeth and my gums just are not as healthy as they could be, so... I have to spend a lot of extra money to stay healthy because when my teeth and my gums are not healthy, I'm not healthy. And they've been bugging me about getting an electric toothbrush. And I've, I always kind of looked at them as more or less novelty toys. And some of them really are too. I mean, you look at these ads on TV and stuff like that, you know, get your children to brush their teeth with these. And I mean, basically it's just a little plastic case with two D-cell batteries in it. And I don't know, they just seem like junk or novelty or toys. I didn't think they were that good. But um, my one dental hygienist swore up and down that if I got this one brand, uh, Sonicare, the, uh, uh, which call it the, it just produces sonic vibrations, that it would do a better job of brushing my teeth than I could. So <clears throat> I ended up getting this. I think it's called the Sonicare Series 2, Philips Sonicare, rechargeable. And the nice thing about it is it's really well built. It's not really like cheap, junky plastic. You could actually drop it. It's uh, totally waterproof. It's got a, uh, what you call it, a induction charger type of deal. You can rinse it off and everything. It's small and slender, so it's no problem fitting it into your mouth. And actually, I used it, and it does brush your teeth better than you can brush them. I mean, the first time I used it, it was really strange because it felt like, I mean, it was just vibrating so much inside my mouth. It was just, it was an unusual sensation, but it scrubs your teeth. Basically, you don't do any work. You just kind of hold it still and then just move it along and just kind of press it against your teeth. And just make sure and get all the surfaces, and it gives you a little... Uh, beep when you're uh, you should be going uh, four quadrants or whatever like that so top left then you get a beep and then you do bottom left get another beep top right bottom right so yeah and uh, the price on it the full-blown retail on it is $39.99 but you can find it all the times for 35 bucks and what I did was uh, I waited for a cyber week sale that dropped it down 10 bucks and then added another five bucks worth of uh, points that I earned. I have this Amazon store card that earns me reward points for buying stuff. So I think the total price, price I got it for was uh, $24.99, including free shipping, which I'm an Amazon Prime member, so I get free shipping all the time. So, But even at the full price of $39.99, it seems to be well worth it. And I was also thinking, oh, it's one of those deals, too, to where, yeah, you get a real cheap price for the, the toothbrush, but you pay a fortune for the refills. Well, yeah, if you go to the store, you get like four refills, which is still a year's worth, but you have to pay like close to 30 bucks. I mean, almost as much as the whole thing costs, but ordering online, I actually got the regular Sonicare brand. Not a, You can get the um, generic brands that fit the Sonicare, but I got the Sonicare brand a whole year's supply for brushes for 11.30. Yeah, under under 11, $11.50, less than that. So that was not a bad deal either. So yeah, it ended up being a better gadget than I thought. And hey, if it you know helps make my dental visits a little less expensive, even slightly, I guess it's worth spending the bucks. So, anyway, that's about it for this week. Take care, everybody. Oh, and also by the way, I heard that uh, Muzzle Mike in his ITL report he may actually continue on and not take a break for uh, Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve. So, um, check out his channel, um, Muzzle Mike ITL Report. So, take care, everybody. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I will catch you next year.